Nothing's entirely wrong Kick the hole in the game Before multiple views By time be gone Gotta be strong When you're popping The paparazzi form Sliders singing In your local precinct Like Is, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. If you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel, RiceGangClothing.com, for all of the merchandise. Shout out to Showtime SP and my network partners up at Fox 5. Shout out my brother Scrap. Let's just get right into it. You know what I'm saying? There's, a, there's every round that I've sketched about, there's nothing slicker than the tools in the rusty shed house. Y'all came here playing, they're gonna leave here giving head counts, they ain't even book you niggas' rooms, Harlem hospitals giving beds out. No, I'm not good. <laughs> Wait. Didn't, didn't I tell you? <sighs> got a hard head, huh? <laughs> <laughs> didn't I tell you? Every time you, you play against me to strap your shoes up, didn't I tell you? That's what Luca done. Um, Norb's case has been settled. Uh, undisclosed amount, but it has been settled. I have been covering this case for like the past three years. Every now and then, whenever something came about, I gave people what my thoughts was, what my experience was, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, as far as knowing norms and knowing about this situation firsthand. I'm not secondhand. I'm not thirdhand. I'm not fifthhand. You know what I'm saying? There are some people who will speak on it from a media perspective that really was not there, and I get it because it sensationalizes norms versus a big company like the URL. Now, I have spoke positively and negatively about both sides, I have, and you know what I'm saying? I said, no matter how you feel about Norbs, Norbs ushered in eight to 10 out of artists that was on that platform, why I was there. Why, because Norbs found me. I told people the story, but I'm gonna say it again because this might be one of the last times I speak on the case or speak on this situation unless something comes out that the world needs to know or some big news. So, I'll take you back. Um, if you haven't rolled up, you can roll up. I got you. Uh, get y'all drinks ready. I know it's breakfast, but come on, come on, come on, come on. It's family time. Bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, because we got to speak. Um, I was just like on Facebook at the time talking shit about battle rap. Unbiased had a group. There was a couple of, you know, people just talking battle rap. And I made a video one day about Charlie Clips ruining battle rap because his battles weren't good at the time. He was losing, I didn't have a YouTube channel or nothing. I just put the video up and Norbs himself hit me up on Facebook. It was like, yo, you should become a blogger. I got this, that, and the third going on. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Please, get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit, I'm saying. Get in Ibu, I don't know what the hell he talking about. He explained it a little bit more. I joined the war report. I learned a lot from being around Norbs. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I mentioned it before. I never got paid. Now, the nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, disrespect. Like That's Sometimes opportunity becomes a payment. At the time, I didn't see it that way. I did not see it that way. I'm like, niggas around me is getting paid, and I'm not. Fuck that. I don't want to be here. I was, and we're going to get to that, too, because that messed up a lot of my relationships because I was such a great flexor. People thought I had money before I had it, but let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But I, I once I got the Rolex, and I was like, "Yo, this is crazy." Now, but after you mature and you realize over the years that the experience, whether good, bad, or indifferent, that I gained from being around Norbs, you know what I'm saying? I didn't get no call from Beasley, none of them niggas smacked, none of them niggas were calling me. Norbs, you know what I'm saying? He was the one that was in the field. He was the one that was traveling state to state, finding these artists, going to these hoods. Why I was there, I was in these same hoods while Norbs was doing a lot of his recruiting. I remember many, many artists. Now, was he the greatest at what he did? Yes, he's the John Calipari of battle rap recruiting. They minimized it and tried to call him a scout. A scout is a nigga who will go to the mall, sit at a table, and just recruit people to join in our military. Join the military, recruiter, recruiter, recruiter. A recruiter is not gonna go to the military and be like, yo, I should be considered a partner in the military because I recruit. They just basically considered him a recruiter. Like them niggas that be doing the crucible when they name a bunch of people who go scout and pick people. That's what they tried to say he was. Somebody told a lie one day. It was way more than that. Without him, you wouldn't even have your platform. They would not at all. He found all of the fucking talent. Who else was recruiting? Was Beasley recruiting? Was Smack recruiting? Was Chica? Nigga don't even know who the fuck he is. If they passed him in Walmart, they wouldn't even know who that nigga is. So we can get him off the table. And I know he wasn't. I probably met that nigga three times in life. He was not recruiting. I know Smack wasn't recruiting and Beasley wasn't recruiting either. 
it was Norbs. So when they kicked him out of the whip, I was like, yo, this is crazy. This nigga know where all the bodies is hit. Do they know that he knows? Yo, dude, yo, smack, smack, smack. Get the fucking, get the bag. Get the bag, get the fucking bag, get the bag. Put the fucking money in here. Norbs knows where the bodies is at. Why would you play with a nigga? Why would y'all play with a nigga who knows where the bodies is at? <laughs> he was there for all, for everything. They played with him. They said, nah, we ain't got it. So Norbs took his bag. He said, all right, all right. Y'all want to play with me? I got something for y'all. Get washed. They did them just like that, you hear that? That's the lawnmower. We still cutting the grass out here with these snake ass niggas. We still cutting the grass. You know what I'm saying? That's what you hearing. But yeah, he got chopped all the way up. Y'all wanna play with me? Y'all don't wanna pay me no bread? Uh, uh, hold on, it's a big bag. Now, I gotta do that to y'all. Why y'all make him do that? Y'all should have dropped that Cam Newton bag off on his porch and told him to get the fuck out of here and we don't want nothing to do with you. But no, y'all the ones that gave that man an app subscription and then canceled the app subscription. Y'all the ones who went online. What was that? Let me see that. <laughs> y'all the ones that went online and put that shit out. You are a response to the false media reports. Many in the battle rap community are keenly aware that Ultimate Rap League's legal dispute with former talent scout, the case which URL did not negotiate has been going on for more than three years. URL insisted upon fighting the truth. The trial court already ruled that the talent scout was not a partner of the URL. A round one victory for URL. URL also won round two knockout as the appellate court ruled that the talent scout was not a partner of the URL and not entitled to be treated as a partner. Now the false rumors are being spread that URL instructed by the court to settle. The statement is demonstrably false. Instead, all parties were directed to participate in a settlement conference. Well, uh, you he got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. What's the deal? Fuck all that. I ain't got to read a bunch of shit today because I been I knew about this for a long time ago. They was told <laughs> that if they didn't have the November twelfth was the day. I remember it's, it's funny that I'm doing this blog on November eleventh because I was told that November twelfth by the if they if they didn't come to some kind of agreement, them numbers was coming out and did they make money? <laughs> they settled, right? They settled. I've seen people saying a settlement is not a win. Okay, let's do this, right? A settlement is not a win, but they didn't go, they didn't press it any further. They, 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 they opted out. Why did they opt out? Because they knew what the fuck was coming up. They knew they was going to trial, everything was coming out, and people was going to know. Now, I'm not saying that the fans, the diggers would went on strike and shit like that, because a lot of battle rappers, they ain't standing on nothing anyway. They'll say they go on strike, and tomorrow a car to be made about it. So I knew they wasn't going to stand on no business like that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas ain't willing to go against the grain. That's why you see a lot of artists still sitting on places, not getting booked, not getting looks, not being pushed. Niggas just sit on the shelf for four, five, six, seven years, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't have the, they ain't standing on it. They ain't gonna be like, fuck it, I'm out of here. They not about to be like, I'm out of here, I don't care what nobody thinks about me, I'm out. They ain't gonna do that. Niggas gonna sit in the corner, wait for a phone call. If they don't get one, they don't get one, you know? But uh, I will say this, back to the John Calipari of battle rap recruiting. He is literally the best recruiter ever. There's none compared. There is none compared. I don't care who you think of or what you think. Norbs was the best. He found all, top, all styles, all talents, all levels, high level battlers from the PG classes to the top level guys, he found them all. He did, I know he did, I was there, he found me. That's, that's that. Did we always get along, always agree to everything? Absolutely not. Did I agree when I was working with them to not get paid? Absolutely not, I hated it. I did not, I did not like it, but I learned a lot from it. So I say that to say this, when you build something with someone, they try, and then the worst part about it is, they tried to diminish and downplay what he was doing, saying he was just a scout, he was not a partner, and all this other shit, right? When you downplay someone like that, you're basically saying that their achievements with you were insignificant. He was more than that. He created, he was booking whole cards. Scouts don't book whole cards, I'm sorry. They ain't booking no whole cards. They ain't finding no venues. They ain't finding no sponsors. They not doing all of that. Why is he doing all of that? Why? But. I'm happy, I'm happy that he is settled, I'm happy that he is going to get bread, and I'm happy that he's going to be straight, because he deserves something. 
They got to caffeine, got a multi-million dollar deal, and cut this nigga out the deal. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. Like, yo, you not in it. That was never going to work. And then mirrored it with the fight little, little, little skirmish situation, like, oh, that's the reason why. Like, they really get, they didn't give a f <laughs> Yo, they did not care about <laughs> Norbs getting beat up at the, they didn't give a shit about that. That's all, it was like, you know how sometimes you be in a relationship and you want to get out the relationship, so some shit that happens that might not have been that big for you, you make it a deal breaker, like, oh no, we can't work with you no more because you got beat up by one of our artists. I know that this room is about one of the league owners getting someone pregnant, but still, we don't want to fuck with you no more. Like, who did they fool with that? They didn't fool nobody with that shit at all. None, 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 none. And I ain't here to explain or here to complain. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to just tell you it all. Y'all don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So it's cool, I, I can say what I want. You know what I'm saying? I don't work for none of these companies. Then you know there's gonna be people who's gonna embellish it and speak up like, oh, he didn't get that much money. He only got the, do, 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 do. man, y'all niggas don't know what the fuck y'all talking about because he don't talk to y'all. I know he don't. I spoke to the nigga this morning. I spoke to him yesterday too. But that's my actual friend though, you know what I'm saying? That I don't want anything from him. I would never ask him for anything. I don't even want an interview. I just want to see him, his wife, and his two kids get what they deserve. I actually know them people. I know Amanda. I, I've seen her before. I've been around his family. I know his, I, I, I literally have seen them. It's more than just battle rap. So when you see someone that you consider a personal friend get cut out like that, you're like, man, what the fuck? Like, this? <laughs> these are niggas we holding up on a pedestal that would get to a point, know that their man was with them and cut him out and not get a nigga no bread for years? Just fuck it, whatever happens to you, if your family don't eat, if your kids don't eat, we don't care. D -d 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 nah, nigga, uh-uh, no. Now shout out to his lawyer, Jamar Creech. Go look him up, he's a very good lawyer. I had joked about it in the past and said, yo, they got his lawyers off Groupon. No, nah, this is a hard working black man, a lawyer who fought against big money lawyers, took that shit all the way to the Supreme Court had these niggas on the 50 yard line and said, if y'all don't settle, let's play ball. They didn't flip the corner. They said, no, 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 fuck it. <laughs> Game off. Took them all the way there. Shout out to him, man. Cause he definitely, bro, you know, you know how much work you have to do to go three years with these niggas? Three whole years he was fighting with these people in order to get their bread. You know what I'm saying? He's a sports and um a sports and entertainment attorney. Uh, he's uh, been a managing partner, demonstrated history and working with private legal law practice, went to North Carolina Central University and the University of Alabama Law School. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. He's a very decorated MC, uh, a very decorated lawyer down out the D.C., Maryland area. He's been doing a lot. I've spoken to him, too. I texted him yesterday. That's my man. So when I heard that somebody wanted to sue me, I said, let's do it. Let's go. I call this nigga today. I will call Do it. I do it today. Don't make me drop that. I... Go ahead. Take it. Take it. Take it to trial, nigga. We take it to trial. Um, but what I will say is, like I said, I've always been one that's advocated for Norbs getting money. I always felt like he deserved money, and I still feel like he, whatever he got ain't enough. Give him more. Give him more. Whatever he got ain't enough. He deserves more. You know why? Because he was there. He helped build it from the ground up. Chico never fucked with the nigga. We've been know that. I've been. He didn't fuck with him. He wanted them gone. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't really fuck with him either, but they needed his talent because he was able to find people. As long as you keep finding people and putting in front of us and finding new stars and finding the chesses and the Briz and the T-Tops and the John Johns and the Twerk. As long as you can keep funneling new talent, we'll put up with it. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga! Because his nose perfect? Absolutely not. He was not perfect. He did a lot of fuck shit. He knows he did. But I ain't mad at him, because at the end of the day, nobody's hands in this is dirty. Nobody, I mean, nobody's hands in this is clean. I always say, there's nobody in this situation whose hands is clean. Everybody did some fuck shit at some time. But, at the end of the day, when he left the company, he deserved to leave with more than a fucking app subscription that them niggas canceled a month later. He deserved more. And I couldn't see why <laughs> they would drag this out for three years. So now you gotta pay your lawyer fees. I'm pretty sure they fuck around and make you pay his too. And then pay him just because you... Ooh, we are niggas are some tough customers, boy. And what I will say, 
positively for URL. Now that this is behind them, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to pay. It is what it is. Cha Ching, you're gonna have to pay. Um, now you can focus on battle rap because this whole 2023 has not been a good year. I mean, homecoming is sold out. Hopefully, the rest of the car rolls out, and we hope for a good car. Niggas don't. Y'all, people be like, "Oh, y'all pray, y'all want they down for." I don't want them niggas down for. I want good battles and people to be treated right. No one wasn't treated right. He deserved money. He deserved to be paid. Fuck how anyone feels. They don't even matter. That's just a fact. The fact of the matter is that nigga found 80 to 90 percent of that roster. It's maybe not the first, 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 first guys that was dead in the beginning, like Murder Mook and Sirius Jones and all of them niggas. But from like, he's from the math hop that used to manage them, he was around Murder Ave, and he just kept transitioning and transitioning, and then Born Legacies, and then Tay Rock came in. Not saying he found him, I know Tay Rock was with Surf and Lions Dead and shit like that. But then after that, it just became waves of people the Clean Papers, the B Magics, the John John the Dons, the K Shines. The wheel just kept turning, the wheel just kept turning, and he was discovering and inventing all his fucking talent. He was. He developed these guys. And when they kicked him out the whip, it was like, all right, well, fuck it, man. What you did don't matter. Bye. Get out. Nothing? Nothing? I think it's crazy, man. But I do, I, like I said, I don't know. I didn't get the vibe that Norb's intentions is to, like, come back to battle rap and, like, start a new league and take over and shit like that. I didn't get that. I don't, I don't got them vibes from him. If he do, you know. <laughs> you found me before, nigga. Find me some more. <laughs> you found me before. Five pieces of I'm easy to find now. I know it's eight notes. I'm easy to find now, my nigga. I'm on TV. Hey, Fox, you wanna come on TV? You have your people get in contact with my people and we could, we could work something out. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, I looked through some of the things that I got sent to me, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, Norbs, um, he fought with these guys for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you all had tried to get the doc. No, caffeine has stepped in. And when I last spoke to, uh, you know, the, the folks on the other side, on uh, Norbs' side, Caffeine had not been involved with the case for a couple of years, but when they were getting ready to go to trial, they stepped in and tried to step in and get the records of the financials sealed. I know why they wanted them sealed, because if the public would have found out, it would have been fucking bedlam out here. Like I said, do I think these niggas is going to stand on business? No, they would have kept battling for the chicken nuggets and shit they get paid, but the world would have gotten, the world would have knew what numbers was behind the zeros or in front of the zeros and zzz. Z z z z. I kind of know. <laughs> I know I ain't gonna say nothing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't in it. You know what I'm saying? But let's just say it like this. Uh, I know there's people who's gonna be out there who's gonna try to shoot it down. Oh y'all all wanna be no, everybody don't wanna be cool with Norbs, you know what I'm saying? Norbs is my guy. I fuck with Norbs. I talk to him all the time, but I've burned him down on this same channel before. You know what I'm saying? I definitely have. And if I had to again, I would. He knows I would. But it's still my man, and I still got a lot of love and respect for him and his family. Like I said, I I met his wife before. I met his I've seen his kids before. So when I see somebody working, this nigga's working. This nigga's going to a nine to five every day. Imagine going to a nine to five every day. I know what he does for work, but I ain't, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. You go into a nine to five, busting your ass, and three niggas that you created some shit with went off and made millions. <laughs> it told you. Hey man, it's not on us, man. Take care. Yeah, he was on their ass. Jamar Creech ran them niggas up the wall. Took them boys from, took them boys from, <laughs> <laughs> from the from from URL to the Supreme Court, I know them niggas had lo lots of nights with no sleep. You know Chico Bees and Smack ain't got no fucking hair. I'm sure I, 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 I ain't never seen you. I, said, I can't tell you if you did or not. But I know Smack and Bees and them niggas. I know they lost whatever hair they the nigga beard and everything. Probably started falling now fucking with this nigga Norms. I know they ready to get that shit out the way. But uh, like I said, he deserved it. The case is settled. Some people's gonna say that's not a win. It's listen. <laughs> I don't think y'all know how settlements work. If I'm suing a nigga for 10, 15, 20 million, I ain't settling for 100,000, is all I'm saying. Y'all can take that and do what you may. Uh, I'm just out here to play. Shout out to the subscribers, that notification gang. We were at Fox 5 yesterday with Tay Rock. Uh, that interview will be coming out soon. Overtime will be coming out soon with him too. We had a lot of good things to speak about. And you know, it is what it is, man. Shout out to Showtime SP. You already know what it is, I'm out this bitch. Norms. Just let me know what time the flight leaves for Paris so I can call my tailor and get my suits ready and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I only like water that's distilled and chilled. It's got to be distilled to be distilled. Artesian water. You know what I'm saying? If the water's not artesian on a private jet, I won't be on it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, we, uh, shout out. <laughs> 
I don't feel no type of way. I swear to God, I do not feel bad at all. I feel like them niggas should have been paid him. And you know what I'm saying? I don't mean no trouble, but whatever them niggas gave him, they should have gave him double. Fuck all that. You cannot sit there, diminish my value after I put in work for the last 10 years with you niggas. And then y'all gonna make it seem like he was just a scout? No, he wasn't just a scout. He was the brainchild of the fucking operation. The rest of them niggas probably couldn't read three sentences backwards. Are you gonna tell me? <laughs> yo, yo, get my, oh, I need my bag. Oh, my bag. I need my bag. Let me get my bag out of here. You know what I'm saying? The bag is heavy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, shout out to you niggas, though. I'm out.